hi everybody welcome back so in our last video we have covered the market side area of sermione and now we are heading towards the museum and the actual grotte di catulo so let's go and explore it and also let's explore the lake side a little bit and here is a beautiful sculpture of a woman lying in the sun and two pieces of poetry attached to it that are kind of dedicated to Sermione and that talk about the beauty of Sermione. And these are the prices for the museum. So these are the prices. In Taro means the full price. The Grotto means half price, reduced price. It says full price, but it says half. It means half price, reduced one. So this one is for the tourists, and this one is for the locals. I don't know. I have to read. Uh, yeah. It's free for people that has less than 18 years. years. Yeah. In, in Italy, most of the places, museums and uh, entries are free for, for under 18. Let's see, let's find out. If... Here we are at the entrance of the museum. Grotto di Catulo. And look at the olive trees. Still everywhere only olive trees it's a very lovely day now we will just check out the ticket prices and then we'll go inside i will see you inside in a while we just bought the tickets how much are the tickets for Six. Uh, eight euro. Eight euro per person. So we have paid a uh, sixteen euro, and uh, there are other type of tickets also. Yeah. So there are a few more kind of tickets that you can take. Yeah, because uh, I said maybe we will not be able to visit everything. Yeah. Uh, like the castle and this and that. Uh, we did just the Catullo thingy. Okay. And what is the model of where the model, we are going? Yeah. Oh wow, it doesn't look like a villa, it looks like a castle, it's huge. Yeah, it's very huge. Oh wow, okay. It's very beautiful. So this, this is basically, this is a Grotte di Catullo, where we are going to be visiting. This is just a model of it. Now we will go and see. Inside the Catullo Park, and uh, we are going to visit today. And this is the view. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we need olives trees <laughs> because we need. Look, there are people that are doing, but there. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. An old couple is taking a dip. And it's September. <laughs> so now. They are Italians. I am not. I know. I, I am know. cold. I don't know how they are taking a dip. <laughs> this is how it was before. In the. In the old times. Yeah. It was our eyes. Oh wow! It was so cold. And then and then we got the the lake because okay. of that ice. Melting of the ice. See. So this is basically Garda Lake. Yeah. Before it was so cold. Um, even now it's cold, but it's not frozen, frozen like that. Before there was no lake, but we are speaking about two fifty thousand years ago. Ah. These are the findings from here. There is glass, and there are some objects that I don't know about. There is even a cross. Looks like a gold cross. Then there are some 
stones with carvings and this depicts how it used to be. With you the sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree If I be a shooting star you Purane zamane ki cheez hai Aaj kal to bilkul extraordinary feel deti hai When I was reading about this place I found out that this place was made in the first century and can you see how nice carvings they have done ye villa ki wall ke pieces hain इतना अच्छा काम किया हुआ है फर्स्ट सेंचुरी में एंड इट दिस प्लेस वॉज बेसिकली डिस्कवर्ड अराउंड फोर्टीन सेंचुरी एंड आफ्टर दैट इट हैज बीन टर्न इन टू अम्यूजियम आर इन साइड पार्क एंड वी आर गोइंग टू विजिट दिस पार्क with you we have just visited a very small museum and everything is in parts here so there are museums scattered all over yeah and in our background there are the olive trees more on uh, wait trees. a moment i will show them better in this way these are all the olive trees scattered until the lake side and here are the images that the government has done in order to explain how the villa used to look and how they have preserved it now with the olive trees this is good yeah. but the main character of this vlog is you <laughs> not me no but you are always with me you are also the main character these are uh, rosemary right Yeah this is rosemary. This is rosemary. We use it in our food every day. And there is so much of it. Yeah, basically they are very used in Italy because it's a very strong plant. I hope people can see how badly it is laid and how full it is of the olives. It's full of olives. Some of them are turning black up there. Even to take a nice day walk, one can come here. It's like you can just keep walking all day. Yeah, there is so yeah, much yeah. to see here. Is so basically we have just paid eight euro because we I think that we will not be able to uh, walk, too much. walk too much today. And but the full ticket is fourteen, and you can go everywhere. how it was yeah, so it, was like it has wow it was grand and it was facing the lake uh, yeah the south side that means it always had sun shining on it yeah. until the very evening it has a big courtyard yeah it was who must live here a very rich guy roman guy of the first century ah uh, yeah 2000 years that from us yeah Just because it's easy But that don't make it better 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 So here is an underground water storage system system and it's a very old like it's from the same time see how deep it is Maybe I can see how deep it is but doesn't show exactly on the camera there is a cave like structure down there and they used to use it to store water and uh, yeah to use, use the water later an underground cistern on the southern side of the portico at garden collected rainwater for the daily needs and maintenance of the villa wow This is a part of the villa. Of course it is. 
they were talking about uh, some columns that still remains that were a part of the walking uh, path but it was all covered shaded so that you could walk nicely can you imagine how big it is they lived really royally huh they were like pretty much royals yeah in the roman empire there were always a lot of kings yeah which were all the commander the big army thingy persons yeah they were rich because you know if you were be able to acquire other areas you yeah. would have been paid a lot yeah so this was the villa the walking path the small rooms it was very big and this was their view yeah. can you imagine waking up to this and even the height of the rooms is pretty good it's not like pretty good i it's, think it's that it's 5 good. meters it's very good 5 meters usually here now we have 3 meters but i think it is 5 these are deep huh yeah it's, it's you know a little house for the holidays <laughs> It's not a little at all. Look at the height of those gates. When we go down there, you can see, look how tiny people are in front of those gates. And it looks over to the beautiful Garza Lake. Yeah, and it, it's what it remains. Yeah, so here are the stairs to go down and these walls were so thick like done with first of all done with stone and that too so thick yeah and you have to imagine that this cement yeah. is the roman cement i guess they have used some volcano material yeah to make to make it very strong yeah and you have this cement can resist very uh, for, for a lot of time in the water because every time that it receives water and minerals it becomes even stronger oh, wow. for what i remember because the romans i don't know they have this cement uh, formula and we are not be able to replicate it oh wow uh, they have started because yeah look at the walls they are so well preserved like the whole structure is as it is yeah two thousand years ago and even until today it's really beautiful and all intact they, they are trying to study the, the roman cement because they want to understand the formula yeah of course yeah and it seems that they have used uh, pozzolana which is a material from the volcano because usually the cement, the, the, the standard cement, the normal cement that we have now, yeah. it can go for 100 years, but not 2000. Not 2000 years, yeah. 2000 years is just extraordinary. So, <laughs> like made in the first century and still standing. Wow, look at these views. Look at these different part of the villa. Yeah, Look at the staircases, how gigantic they are. <laughs> Look how tiny he looks in front of tiny, that gate. Tiny! tiny. <laughs> Ciao, tiny! Vieni tiny. <laughs> so there is my husband looking all tiny. So this is the long corridor. And it had a lot of rooms these were the rooms and here they had a lot of windows to look 
at the lake. Let's explore down here. Let's go. There, there were even windows in the rooms. Now it's all broken, but in the corner you can see a window structure. Even these were the windows. You can see even on these yeah, side there. So they have constructed from the very plain surface to the not so plain surface. Yeah, this is a rock. In an increasing <laughs> altitude. It's it's a mountain piece. Or it's a rock, and they have adapted to its natural shape and constructed as per the natural shape of the rock. Here you go. We just walked down of the villa, the ruins, and now we have entered this beautiful area near the lake. The best part about today is the sunshine. Always comes the first, the beer. Who didn't want to drink anything? Can join. So here is what I'm gonna eat. It's a salad with tuna fish, a little bit of cheese, and um, there are capsicum, there is a little bit of salad. And he is eating a margarita pizza. Like always. Like always. He's a pizza man. Let's start. We have eaten our lunch and explored Sirmione once again. And now we are heading back home. Ciao, Sirmione. Until next time. It looks so beautiful that pomegranate tree. Uh -huh. How do you like Sinhione? <laughs> Did you yeah. enjoy? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's you know, I'm Italian. I'm always here since forever. So I like it. And uh, did you like the ruins of that big villa? Yeah, wow, the architectural wonder that Italy has. Sometimes I, I am like surprised by it. First century and such a big villa. Did you see the long corridor with the rooms mm -hmm. and uh, the sea facing side of the villa? And also the, the biggest uh, uh, water storage system. There is a whole car on fire. Yeah, I have seen it. I was there is a car on fire there and it's it's a convertible and it had an old man inside I guess. Then he ran out. 
How did it happen? Is it going to explode? So now we are going back home and we will see you next time. Ciao! Bye!